in the Railway Club, and I'm Steve Silman. I'm the owner and general manager, and um, we're right at uh, Dunsmuir and Seymour. Same place that this has been for 80 years now. People love, people love the train set. It's quite remarkable. I guess you know people have come through and seen the train for years and years, so they uh, they do really appreciate it. Oh, it hasn't worked for a little while because we're trying to get the figure out if the transformer or the engine is broken or both. But we're getting it. My name is Brian Rod Cohen. I've been uh, a model railroad since I was probably 10 years old. Uh, we're, we're looking at some electrical problem here. I think. They're, they're discussing it now, but we just we're not getting any. The electrical motors are not getting the juice to run. You know, it could be the transformers the problem. So there's well, I guess it's 12 cars. Uh, we got a caboose and an engine, a couple engines now, and um, yeah, originally I mean it was set up. It was set up where there were um, sponsorships, so Mint Records got one, Sweeman Brewing got one, the folks that do Okanagan uh, beer, and uh, Phillips had one and so forth. And um, for, for a long time I've been putting up ads for, for shows like the Hard Rock Miner Sing Along. So a lot of people have been asking about it for quite a while, so it'll be nice to get it going. Um, the new train that I got actually will blow smoke as well, so I'm quite excited about that. I don't know how much smoke or anything like that, but that's the plan is to get that working, and, and uh, that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, I would say that the history of uh, this is, it's got to play a big part of it. It's been here for a long time. A lot of people have seen this thing chugging around, and you know, it's it, when you're uh, halfway through the evening and suddenly you look up and there goes the train. Uh, it kind of adds a little bit of something to the experience. <laughs> 